snatch pulls, trying to keep the chest up, grab the knees out, be very patient until I hit the pommel position. And trying to keep the bar as close as possible, feeling midfoot, rotating feet into the ground. I'm trying to think of extending my hips and bringing the bar up instead of forward. So the hips go up, not forward, and then trying to elevate as high as possible. Today was also the first time I'm trying my powerlifting belt. I got on backwards. I hit it just once on the clean pulls. Nothing crazy, but on the snatch pulls, I mean, nothing crazy. I think um, did not feel it at all on the regular snatches or the clean jerks. So that's a good sign. I want to ramp up a little bit for the snatch pulls. Started at about 90%, it's about 100 kilos. Worked my way up to 110. And that last set really just focused on feeling the weight shifting from the ball of my foot, just the midfoot, and back to my toe as I finish the pull and really open my knees, try to get the bar elevated as high as possible. Um, last heavy session, well, two heavy sessions ago, that was my main focus, was just feeling my feet. And it was one of my best snatching, clean jerk sessions in a long time. So I was really trying to emphasize that on this last set. Glad I went up to 110. On the 130 pull, it seemed like it was getting stuck under my belt, but I thought about it. And uh, when I'm doing the regular clean and jerk, it seems like I'm gonna be kind of traveling downwards after that extension and not elevating the bar as high. So when I got my heavy day, I'll try the belt um, as I go up to a max on Saturday. We'll see if that affects anything. If not, I'll just take the belt off, wear my other belt. Um, but surprisingly, my knee feels pretty good getting in the bottom of the pole position. It's just a squatting that's kind of bugging my left knee. 140, second rep felt pretty good. I noticed that I wasn't coming on my toes all the way on, um, on the first rep. Second rep foot significantly better. I'm going up to 145 next. I'll try to come on the toes a little bit sooner and really try to sink the hip, knee, ankle, and shrug all together. Try to get that bar as high as possible. 145 felt pretty slow off the floor, but it was nice and balanced, nice and solid. I think I was getting really good hip contact and good bar path after the pull. So I'm pretty happy with that. So usually for speed work, for the squats, I typically do front squats. I've been front squatting almost about seven weeks now as my speed work. Last week I did reverse bands. And uh, yeah, it just didn't really feel great on my knee. So I'm changing the angles a bit. So I'm using a camera bar. I figured I'd put more of the moment force on the hips. Uh, I was gonna do a box squat to 12 inches to try that out. So I uh, end up flipping it up to 16 inches. I think that'll be a little bit more specific to the start height and the, the poles for the snatch and the clean. Um, but it feels okay. I'm working up about 220 right now, which is, um, a little bit more than, a little bit less than 50%, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So after reviewing the video, uh, it's breaking up the news a little early, so go ahead and sit that back, but these feel significantly better on the knee. Taking that wider stance, really trying to spread the floor apart, staying back in the hips. Um, I'm not completely releasing tension in my legs because that's causing left knee pain, so I'm just kind of keeping the tension as much as I can the whole body. As the uh, cambered bar box squat sets went on, I was really trying to spread the floor apart, challenge the speed on the way down. Uh, I still have some knee pain, but it's considerably better than doing front squat or any sort of close stance, low box squat variation. So I'll consider this a success. Camera bar, good morning. Uh, so I took these, I took good mornings out right about three weeks ago. I tweaked my right lower back, trying to go pretty heavy on uh, duffel bar, chain, good mornings. I was trying to work up the sets of three and I pulled a little something. My back, I had to take the rest of the week off. So I'm starting to add these in and uh, keeping the moment I'm short with the camera bar and also keeping high reps, 15 to 20 reps. 
Um, these actually feel pretty good on my knee. So it kind of almost makes sense that my knee start hurting because I took a lot. I took out the good mornings and that's the main hinging, driving, accessory exercise that I had. I switched over to like back extensions, high volume back extensions and uh, Nordic eccentric hamstring curls, which I don't think do the same thing as a good morning. So we'll see how this goes. I'll add these in and try to do these twice a week and see how my knee's feeling and responding to that. So we tried these overhead presses with the cambered bar. Um, this week I decided to take out benching, most of my benching and, um, you know, replace it with overhead presses as instead I did a single arm overhead press earlier this week and actually felt really good in my shoulder. I've been having a lot of left shoulder pain with, uh, with just pressing in general and just pain in general. So I think um, I've been really neglecting the overhead press. So I'm gonna be doubling it down as we go forward for the meet, taking out the horizontal press and putting in the vertical press. And we'll see how that, how that works for my shoulder and also my overhead press strength.